We use drugs to help our body get well. The intake of drugs starts in our early life. Drugs can act differently within individuals or by the way they are consumed. How can we investigate the processes in the human gastrointestinal tract after the intake of a drug formulation with water or a meal? That was the central question at TNO and led to the creation of the in vitro dynamic gastrointestinal model. We've called it TIM. TIM is a simulation of the complete digestive system through a combination of engineering, chemicals, enzymes, bacteria and dedicated software. The TIM has been divided into two systems, TIM1 and TIM2. TIM allows us to gain insights in what, how and to what extent nutrients, but also pharmaceutical compounds, become available for absorption. Both models can be adjusted to simulate the GI system of an adult or a child. Let's take a closer look at the TIM systems. TIM 1 Here we see the stomach and the small intestine, divided into three parts. Left and right of the small intestine, we see the dialysis or filtrate systems removing compounds to mimic the real-life situation. At all stages, we're able to take samples to investigate their composition. When the formulation consumed with water or with food enters the stomach, it is mixed with gastric acid, lipase and pepsin. It is pushed forward and backward due to the simulated mixing movements of the stomach. After administration, the formulation stays in the stomach, disintegrates and starts to release the pharmaceutical compound. The small intestine in the TIM-1 consists of three separate compartments, the duodenum, the jejunum and the ileum. In the first part of the small intestine, the duodenum, bicarbonate is secreted to neutralize the pH value. Bile is secreted to emulsify fat. Pancreatic enzymes are secreted that digest fat, carbohydrates and proteins. Subsequently, the solubilized and unsolubilized fractions of the drug will follow their transit, together with the other matrices, to the jejunum and the ileum. Next to the jejunum and ileum, membrane units remove the dissolved pharmaceutical compound continuously. It is this unique membrane system of the TIM-1 that ensures the removal of the released and dissolved drug in jejunum and ileum. This fraction we call the bioaccessible fraction of the drug. This all ensures a dynamic environment just like that found in the human body. At the end of TIM-1, the non-digested and non-released components are collected for further analysis and can also be used as input for TIM-2. The TIM-2 represents the large intestine or the colon. This part of the intestine contains a high density of many bacterial species, the microbiota. These bacteria play a crucial role in the further digestion of the undigested materials from the small intestine. Here in TIM2, we can measure the interaction of compounds and the microbiota. At all stages, samples can be taken to investigate their composition. We have shown you an active model of the human gastrointestinal tract within a laboratory setup. We can perform research on how, where and when a drug becomes available for absorption in our body. This model can help you accelerate your research on the fate of your drug and formulation in the human gastrointestinal tract, food drug interactions, formulation selection for optimal bioavailability or bioequivalence, pediatric formulation development, troubleshooting in relation to available clinical data. At TNO Triskelion, we are proud that we can contribute to further research on how to improve our health and our lives.